Hello friends, we are going to write a Python program that takes the student mark as an input out of 100 and we are going to categorize it into various grades. For example, if marks are 75 and above, that is under the distinction category. If it is between 60 to 74, first class, 50 to 59, second class, pass if the mark or between 35 and 49, fail if the mark are below 35. For this, we are going to write a Python program. I am declaring a variable marks equal to float of input of enter the student marks in bracket out of 100. So, the input statement receives the mark as a string and which is converted into float and stored it in the variable marks. Now, I am going to write the nested if statement to find the grade. I am checking if marks greater than equal to 75 i am printing distinction print this tension so in see the else i am checking a condition if marks greater than or equal to 60 i am printing print first class first class. So, in this condition when mark is greater than or equal to is 75 is false that means less than 75 the control will come to the else part and if marks greater than 60 means it will come in the slot of 60 to 74 if it is in the 60 to 74 this is the first class. If it is distinction if it is if the marks greater than 75 is a distinction. So, there could two conditions are checked. Now, I am writing an else statement else inside the the else statement i am writing another if condition if marks greater than or equal to 50 here i am printing print second class so in this case, greater than or equal to 50 is true and greater than or equal to 60 is false. It means the mark is between 50 to 59. So, 50 to 59 this is second class. So, here I am writing another else statement. Else, if marks greater than or equal to 35, here I am printing print pass else I am printing print fail. So our program is over. So here we are having a so many nesting. I am checking marks greater than or equal to 75. I am printing distinction. Else, it means is not greater than 75. I am checking a condition. If it is greater than 60, if it is greater than 60 means it is in the range of 60 to 74. Because greater than or equal to 75 is false, greater than or equal to 60 is true. In this case, I am printing first class. If the condition is false, mark is not greater than or equal to 60. The control will come to the else part. Here I am checking a condition. If marks greater than or equal to 50, that means mark is greater than or equal to 50 is true, greater than or equal to 60 is false, means it is between the range of 50 to 59. I am printing the second class. If marks greater than or equal to 50 is false, the control will come to this else part. Here I am checking a condition. If marks greater than or equal to 35, that means the mark is between 35 to 49. Marks greater than or equal to 50 is false, means 
that is lesser than 50 and greater than or equal to 35. So, 35 to 49, I am printing pass. Otherwise, it is lesser than 35, I am printing the grade fail. Now, we are going to execute the program and check the result. So, enter the mark. I am giving 80 is a distinction. I am going to run the program again. So, I am giving 69 first class. Another output, I am giving 53 second class. I am running the program again. I am giving 42. So, it is the pass. Now, I am running the program again. Now, I am giving 32. I am getting 5. So, my program is working for all the grades. 80 distinction, 69 first class, 53 second class and 42 pass. 32 fail. So, all the conditions are properly executing for all the values in the appropriate range. We are getting the correct grades. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.